Hey YouTube, it's a pipe miner here again. I'm gonna do something tonight that I've seen many times. I know a lot of other people have done it, but I want to take you through just like a monthly cleanup on my pipe, a heavy cleaning, and kind of go over why we do it. Just in case you're new enough and haven't seen it, this pipe is my. This is the one I use the most. It's just a unbranded wall pipe that was hanging on the wall in my local shop when I went in there. It's the first one that I actually bought, but I I use this one more than any of my others. So, but get it apart. Now, when I get done smoking a bowl, I run a pipe cleaner through it every time. And I clean out what I can, and the pipe cleaners come out clean each time. But I'm guessing what we're going to find when I get to this is I'll get a lot of stuff out of the stem and out of the bottom of the stumble here that will end up, can end up affecting the taste on your smoke if you leave it in there. So what I have for a cleaning solution is, you know, just for, if you can get it, this is what I'm using, it's just Everclear, just pure alcohol. So I know it's not available in all places, but I can get, I have access to it here, so. But anyway, like I said, now I've cleaned this stem every time I've smoked it since for as long as I've been using it. And it's been a while since I've done a deep cleaning on, on a pipe like this, but you just dip a little bit of the alcohol onto a pipe cleaner and run it through and it comes out, you can see it's it's picking up all that crud that's in there. I'll dip it and run it through again the other way. And I'll do that until it comes out clean. Now that one's still not clean. Now I'm going to run, that was just a normal, you know, longs pipe cleaner. Guess it'll be easier up here. You know, just regular fuzzy one. What I'm going to use for this next time is a bristled pipe cleaner. And they've got little bristles on them that help kind of scuff up the inside a little bit and knock some of that stuff loose. Now, I'm not necessarily being as careful as I should. I need to watch so that I don't end up getting this alcohol on the outside of this of my pipe here because it'll take the finish right off of it. Well, this thing will cooperate. And sometimes you just gotta fight with them a little bit and get them to go through. <clears throat> so we'll go back to just a normal pipe cleaner this time. And I'll just keep doing this until it's clean. Until the pipe cleaners come out just as clean on the out as they were going in. But all of that's in there hanging out in the pipe and in the stem and you know, your bit and everything else and it affects the taste of your tobacco as you're smoking it. So the more of this we can get out of there, the better your tobacco is going to taste. And really, I've seen lots of different reports, probably I'd like to do this once a month, but sometimes it just doesn't get done. I just get spacing it off or whatever the case, get busy. So. I do it when I can. But like I said, this is also the pipe that I use the most. It's there are times where it gets used every day, you know, for weeks at a time. It's been quite a while since I've cleaned it with Everclear. And that's part of the reason that I'm getting all this stuff out of it now. Not sure why I'm having trouble getting it through there all of a sudden, but it's 
So anyway, you just work on that, and I'll show you the clean the stumble. And I've got some brushes, and yeah, you know, I've got a mortise brush and a tenon. You know the brushes to clean out this portion. You know down in here where the tenon is, and knock all that out. But for now, I'm just gonna use pipe cleaner and get what I can with these. Yeah, that's, <laughs> again, not surprising. That's where everything collects is down here in the bottom of that bowl and the bottom of this stem here. Now I'm going to hit that with one of the bristle, bristle pipe cleaners too. You might actually be able to hear that on the camera. Now I won't go into the bowl with that Everclear. I don't want to, because I, I, everything I've seen says that that can cause more harm than good if you actually try to clean the bowl with it. There are other methods that they use for cleaning out your bowl and pulling the cake and that kind of stuff out of there with scrapers and whatever else, but for now this is, once I get done running this Everclear in here and getting these cleaned out to where the pipe cleaners come out clean, then I'll just call it good at that and set it aside and it'll be ready to smoke again. I don't know if you can see down in there. Nope. It, you can see where the pipe cleaner's coming out and that you're getting all the way into the bottom of the bowl and everything. It's not hard to see. So. It doesn't take very long to get this done, and now you can see it's really it's pretty well cleaned out now. Yeah, so that that part of it's clean. So I can I'm going to go back to working on the stem and get it to that point where the pipe cleaners come out just as clean as they went in. And we'll uh, put this pipe back into rotation, but for now. That's all I wanted to put on this one, and like I said, there's plenty of videos out there showing these, this method, and some people like to use rum or whiskey, or there are commercial products available that are called pipe sweetener, or they it's a pipe cleaner of some sort. It's a basically it's an alcohol-based fluid that you do the same thing that this Everclear is doing. It just may have a little bit of an additive in it to provide a a sweet flavor when it's all done. I, I don't know, I've never used any of those. I know people that do, but I just, Everclear works and I because I can get it, that's just what I use. Now I've heard some people that will use isopropyl alcohol too, rubbing alcohol, but I've never trusted that very far. I just, I mean for something that I'm gonna smoke out of I just don't know how far I trust the isopropyl but I know that people do and they don't have any trouble it's just a personal choice for that matter but, so there we go pipes clean ready to reuse again so it'll go back in rotation and be enjoyable and I wasn't having any there weren't any bad tastes or anything in there I mean it's not like I had skunked it or, or had ghosted the pipe with anything it just it needed cleaned and as you can see it was due so that's all i've got for tonight thanks for watching and
keep smoking the good stuff. <laughs>